he came towards me uh, in the governor's office at the prison. And um, to start with, I didn't realize who he was because he was a, a well-dressed, uh, rather cultivated-looking tall man. And I thought he must be some other senior officer for a second or two. And uh, this was his attitude towards the prison officers as well. He, uh, he, he wasn't um, discourteous to them, but he, he, he treated them somehow as if they were, they were his juniors. Uh, he's 66, but he could be several years younger. His hair is slightly silvering, clean shaven. Uh, he had a, um, an olive green a neatly laundered shirt on and uh, navy blue trousers, black shoes, um, had a, uh, a loose leaf file with some papers and he made a few notes while we were talking, had a pen and a uh, spectacle case tucked into the top pocket of his shirt. Um, it, was a, it was a very friendly, business-like conversation for about two hours with uh, a major in the South African prison service sitting there at a, just across the table, saying nothing, not, not intervening in any way, um, not censoring our conversation. I don't think he uttered a word throughout the entire two hours. There are two problems about my visit to South Africa. The first is the conditions under which Nelson Mandela lives in Polsmore Prison. Here, I suppose one could say that the conditions are not too bad. They're well up to the standard of Western Europe or North America. He's been visited by the Red Cross every year, and they say that they are broadly satisfied with the way he's treated. That was not the case in the first 10 years of his imprisonment from 1964 to 74, but there has been an improvement since then. And uh, both on Robin Island and at Polsmore near Cape Town, where he was moved to in 1982, things are, are better. Uh, he uh, has access to press, to local radio. Um, he uh, has five other prisoners in his room, quite a large room and a substantial yard with pots and vegetables. And he's able to uh, uh, exercise and study and bo have books sent Time magazine, The Guardian from London, and uh, he, he's pretty well informed about, uh, about what's going on in the world.